Caleb's Trains. On today's video, me and Caleb are doing our layout update number four of our rebuild. There's track on the bridge. There is, and um, we actually are back in the train running business, aren't we? Mm -hmm. The big boy ran around the outside um, track. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Yep, so we have our uh, outer main back up and running. Uh, which is, uh, I'm kind of shocked at how... Uh, In four episodes, that's already done. Yeah, I, I'm kind of shocked at how quickly uh, we're back up and running. Um, well, we're not even close to the whole layout being done. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, we have a we have a line back up and running, and that's, uh, that's crazy to think. So we're happy about that. Uh, we were also in the bridge building uh business as well we got uh, our we got second the, lift uh, bit, the bridge the middle um lift bridge is done there is no track mm -hmm. on it but but it is mounted it's in place and it's operational mm -hmm. um as far as the lift bridge part of it there's no track like caleb said so um right. yep well, that's where we're at there we can't wait to show you the progress in that area um other than that uh, it's been the Thanksgiving Day uh, long weekend. We hope everyone had a good and safe Thanksgiving. Um, we had a pretty good Thanksgiving, didn't we? Mm -hmm. yeah. I had pumpkin pie. <laughs> yeah, it was, <laughs> that's like one of our uh, all-time favorites here. Uh, we love pumpkin pie. COVID doesn't stop us from getting pumpkin pie. That's, tr that's right. May have uh, stopped us from seeing all of our family like we usually do and enjoy, but uh, we played it safe um, because uh, we don't want to uh, be quarantined here. So um, we kept it small, kept it safe, and um, looking forward to next uh, year when we can all be back together again. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, hopefully. You're right. Uh, so, um, yeah, that's where we're at there. Hope everyone, you know, um, enjoyed their Thanksgiving Day uh, celebration. Uh, and like I said, um, other than that, uh, been busy on the layout. Uh, we had a few extra days here uh, to do that, and that was uh, fun. Um, we we're looking forward to watching our Steelers on... Uh, Thanksgiving night, um, yeah. but by this time, I think everyone knows that didn't happen. <laughs> um, yeah. Not going to go into too much blame here on why that's not happening, because um, we don't want to get any thumbs down from Baltimore fans or anything like that, so um, we're just uh, going to say this adds to the uh, rivalry, I guess. Um so we were gonna play Sunday, but that got moved again too because that was today. Yeah, they got uh, outbreaks happening as we speak there. So now it's moved to Tuesday. Uh, Who knows? Yeah, <laughs> I'll believe that one when I see it. It's amazing how the NFL is catering to a, a team, uh, but yeah, the Denver Broncos don't even have a quarterback on their roster. That's eligible to play, and they're just tell them, yeah, you got to play. Bottom line, you got to play. So it's like, alrighty then. So I'm gonna give my uh, up or my uh, score prediction for uh, Tuesday's game. If <laughs> if there even is a Tuesday game. Right. I'm gonna say uh, Pittsburgh 27, uh, Baltimore nine, and I'm giving them the nine points for each player. I think they're gonna have available to play at this point. So. What's your uh, predictions? I was thinking a 27 for mm -hmm. the Steelers and actually a 14 for the um, Baltimore Ravens. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's probably more accurate than me. Um, you've been doing a little bit better on your uh, picks or your score predictions than I have this year, so congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, so uh, other than that, um, like we said, Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe, running your trains. Um, uh, other than that, I don't know, uh, you have anything you'd like to share? Mm-hmm. Okay. So 
Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any of our awesome videos. Mm -hmm. Smash the comment button if you want to ask us or tell us something. Mm -hmm. Smash COVID and get it out of here, please, because I don't like it. Nobody yeah. does. Yeah, no, we're all in this together, but we're all ready for it to go. So, uh, so yeah, so uh, we're going to get to this update and uh, hopefully enjoy uh, uh, our progress we've made. And uh, yeah. You want to get to running some trains, too? Yeah. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. All right, let's do this. Yay. All right, we're back. And here we are. And what we have is a little system there, just a temporary one to keep them up. Mm-hmm. But there's the first one in place. And the second one. And the second one. And there you go. So, as you can see, the outer one has got track on it. And the big board can go chugga chugga choo choo all Absolutely. the way across it. It runs, it's, it's functional, um, it's wired in, lines up very nicely. Uh, you can see here in the down position and the other end as well. Very nice, it, it came out really well. And let's show you here. As it comes into here, you see we have the water pan still on those tracks. Mm -hmm. and what we're going to do is we're going to extend it all the way to the end where the curve starts. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a long, uh, basically double the length um, track pans. Just about. And uh, it's going to be a nice uh, um, effect when the Niagara goes through there. It's going to have that much more of the water uh, spray effect going through here. Mm -hmm. And I, we're gonna put it on all three of the straights through here. That's where we're, where we're gonna move the, um, the track pan system. As you can see, we got the, uh, the pump house over there and we did move the coal tower. It's just sitting there though. It's, that's not where yeah, it's, it's not, not in place. Go. I think that's probably where it's gonna go. That way you can service two tracks right there um, because this is going to be our steam facility on this side. So um, yeah. it's going to be somewhere in there. Um, but yeah, uh, this is our, uh, our lift bridges. It's uh, the exact same uh, bridge setup as the first one. Mm -hmm. um, and then we put the hinges on that side and then we put move the hinges for the second bridge over there, and then the third bridge will be back over here. Like and on it's this bridge. yeah, and it's more just uh, it's kind of a cool effect to see them going opening uh, opposite directions, almost like you know, I don't know. Just thought it was kind of neat, kind of interesting. Um, I mean, it's very simple. We can just flip it right on back around. But uh, for clearance wise, and that it just made the most sense to do it that way and um it made it so it's real easy like for someone of my height uh, being six four i can walk right down the middle of this aisle and uh um they're both open up at their uh, peak right through the middle of the, the walkway so i don't have to stay to one side or the other you know from uh maximum clearance i can walk right down the middle so that was also um a lot of the thought process there so um came out good um shimmed up um so like here it's right there with the uh top of the uh train board and right here as well so uh it's ready to have a track um laid down on it um and then we'll have to wire it in like we did the other one mm -hmm. um and we have a temporary uh because this is the track on the bridge is isolated from the rest of the layout so what i did was i soldered um wire to uh the the connectors um the rail joiners and then it's ran underneath this rail and just goes uh down there and it's connected into the rest of the layout so that's how we're getting power to the 
bridge. bridge section of the track. Um, and that's, it's more temporary than uh, permanent uh, right now. Um, because I have another idea of how I'm going to do the power. Um, but this works and there's enough slack in the wire. So as it goes up, it moves with it. I don't know if you can let's see here. You can see under there, there's the two wires. <laughs> and yep. So that's what we have there. And it goes back in. just goes right back into place um, and like I said it lines up we got it really uh, fitting really nice to where uh, when the locomotives go over it um, there's no bouncing or any kind of jerkiness or anything it just rolls right on over it real smooth so we're gonna show you that here in a second um, Caleb is dying to run the train so um, other than that I, that's that's what we've gotten done um, again, probably doesn't look like a, a lot, but man, there's a lot of, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of work in making these bridges. Um, yeah, a lot of welding, a lot of, a lot of fitting, a lot of welding, fitting, cutting, yeah. mm -hmm. cutting, grinding, all that good stuff. So, um, a lot, of sparks. a lot of sparks. So, but they're coming out good. Um, it's time consuming doing it. But uh, it's coming out uh, way, which is, I, I think, it's better than expected. So <laughs> they're fitting nice. They're sturdy. You'll see when the uh, big boy goes over it, um, <laughs> it's like as if it doesn't even notice a locomotive being on the bridge. It doesn't budge. It doesn't doesn't anything. It just, just rolls right on over like it'd just be a solid uh, train board instead of a four-foot bridge. So... <laughs> We're going to get to that, and um, you ready to run some trains? Mm-hmm. Happy right. railroading. All right, let's get to these locomotives running. Yeah.